Welcome back guys. So today I'm going to be sharing lots of little tips and ideas that you guys can do at home to either transform maybe one room in your house that you don't really know what to do with or your entire home. I have done a couple of videos like this in the past and you guys seem to really enjoy them. So I hope you guys enjoy today's ideas. If you are new, I hope you subscribe. I upload lifestyle videos every single week and also give the video a huge thumbs up if you do like it before you go. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so I'm not really gonna touch too much on furniture in this video, but I do wanna give you guys one tip that I've mentioned before that I think is super helpful, especially if you are furnishing a room. Before you go out and buy a bunch of new furniture, have a plan, especially since we do a lot of our shopping online these days. You don't really get to see everything in person and measure and all of that, so do a little bit of planning. Um, there's lots of places online that you can go and actually add the entire dimensions of your room so you can get a good idea whether a piece of furniture is going to fit. So art and whatever you put on your walls is something that's very personal definitely go with something that makes you happy but if you want your space to look cleaner and just less cluttered opt for larger pieces of art that are gonna take up more space in your wall instead of lots of little ones pretty good rule of thumb of where to place the art is at eye level you can kind of just take the average of the shortest adult in the house and the tallest adult in the house and just kind of put it smack in the middle you can decide on different cool shapes of mirrors and use that as your art not only is it going to look pretty on your wall it's gonna make your room feel a lot more open and bigger if you have a really big wall and you just don't know what to do with it an accent wall is always a really fun way to go you can do wallpaper on a wall wallpaper has really made a comeback it used to be a thing of the past and kind of very outdated but now there's so many fun prints there's also renters friendly wallpaper that you can put on and then safely take off um, which is a lot of fun because you can have different things for different seasons or just change it out every year if you wanted to I absolutely love the way wall paneling looks we did an entire wall of it it's basically just molding and you just add whatever design you want or you can do something as simple as just painting out an accent wall a different color so maybe you have a color in mind that you really love. So we actually did that in our master bedroom. We have a gray and then we have kind of like a purple gray accent wall. Lighting can make such a huge difference in your home. I heard somebody once refer to it as lighting being the earrings of the house. So it's kind of like the accessories of the house. So one of my favorite places to shop for lighting online is Lamps Plus. They have a huge selection of lighting and they have amazing customer service. They've been in business for over four years. They are sponsoring this video. So huge thank you to them. They actually sent me a couple of lights that I'm going to show you guys in a second. And the cool thing about Lamps Plus is they have a lot of products that are very unique to their website because you can't find it anywhere else. They actually manufacture a lot of their designs based on customer feedback so anything that you're looking for they're listening lamps plus also carries other home items not just lighting and um, they have this gorgeous mirror that I absolutely fell in love with and they have different styles to suit all types of different tastes so I will leave their website link down below so definitely go check them out if you guys want more lighting inspiration definitely follow them on Instagram and also subscribe to our YouTube channel they do a lot of tutorials like how to tutorials I will leave all of that listed down below not only can different lighting change the look of the room but it also change just the feel of the room. You can use lighting to illuminate a painting and make it stand out, which is what we did in our living room. You can also put it on a dimmer to kind of um, just make it feel a little bit more mellow at nighttime. I love dimmers. I think I have dimmers on like every single one of our light fixtures. It can also make a huge difference in even the smallest spaces. So like even these little hallways that I have in my home, they used to be so dark. And now that we change out the fixture to these gorgeous crystal chandeliers, it just looks so different. I love the way that the light kind of dances off the walls. So I think something like this would also be really beautiful in the bathroom. I'm sure you guys are very familiar with the whole, um, you know, paints can really affect your mood depending on what colors you choose. If you choose warm colors, they tend to make you feel a little happier, like yellows and oranges. They kind of make me feel a little bit more excited and awake. If you choose cool tones like blues and purples, they're a little more relaxed and make you feel mellow. They're really good for bedrooms and just like places that you want to just chill out. But two other things that could also make a really big impact in your home or your room are the color of your ceiling and the color of your trim. So if you go with a darker color ceiling, it's gonna make your room kind of feel a little bit lower and a little bit smaller, which is totally fine, just kind of depending what look you're going for. Um, that would be really good for like a media room or like a movie room, somewhere that you wanna feel kind of enclosed. You want it to feel a little bit more cozy. Um, if you want the room to appear taller and bigger and airier, then definitely stick to a lighter color in your ceiling. You could do white or just a lighter shade of whatever color your room already is I think that would be a really good idea also trim color I know the traditional trim color is usually white which there's nothing wrong with that I think white is a beautiful color 
um, and it really just makes your house pop. But if you want to add a little bit of drama to your room and just something different, try a darker color trim. This is actually what we did in our nursery. It looks really elegant. Another thing that you can do to change either the mood of the room or just like the style of the room is by selecting a really good area rug. And not only is it going to change the look, but I feel like area rugs also help to kind of anchor down a room. For example, I have a, um, a living space that's very open. You kind of don't really know where one room ends and where the other one um, starts. So an area rug is a really good way to define those two spaces. So you can see in this before shot, everything just kind of looks like it's just floating around, like nothing. You can't really define a sitting area, but then when you put an area rug in, you can definitely see where the living room starts and where the breakfast area starts. But the thing to keep in mind when you are selecting an area rug is to make sure that it is big enough for the area that you want it for. Um, if you select an area rug that's a little bit too small, especially for the living room, it is going to make your room feel a lot smaller. So just keep that in mind. And if you have like a playroom for kids, an indoor outdoor area rug is also a good idea to put in there because you can spill stuff on it and no big deal. It is super easy to clean. And the last thing that's really going to add some life to your room is to add some greenery. So I originally wanted to add some real plants to my house but come to find out some of them can be poisonous to babies others can be poisonous to dogs not to mention I don't have a green thumb and everything that I've come in contact with has pretty much died so I opted for a fake plant and I just got one that looked as real as possible and this way I don't have to worry about it poisoning anybody or dying <laughs> but I definitely think it does add a lot of life to the room so this is a very easy thing that you can do at any budget for any room for any time of the year. I like to have fresh flowers if I can. If I can't, then faux flowers will do the trick just fine. Those are all of the tips that I have to share with you guys. Let me know down in the comments which tip was your favorite, whether it was the lighting or the accent wall or the area rug. Don't forget to subscribe. Also check out Lamps Plus for more interior and design inspiration. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.